Hi, welcome to welcome to this CSE tutorial. My name is P. Ramarajan. Um, the channel name is uh, CSE tutorial. What is the aim of this channel? First, you have you must know what is the aim of this channel. So here, uh, the channel makes you learn in a simple way of all the subjects under the computer science and engineering department. Here we are going to see all the subjects and any topic with simple explanation and simple examples. Even if you watch before two days of your exam, then you can easily remember all the concepts covered by me. So here, um, very simplest example and the simplest explanation only we are going to see in this channel. So for that, um, we have started with the subject uh, operating system. Last class, we have seen main memory management. So today we are going to see in this class file management. So this is a very important uh, topic, file management in operating system. So before seeing this topic, file management in operating system, first you must know what is mean by file. Then why we have to manage file. So by managing file, what will happen? Without managing file, then what will happen? So all those things we are going to see in this class. So first you must know what is mean by file. If they ask in your exam, in, they may ask in your exam, define file so if they ask means then you have to write correct exact uh, exact definition of file so it is a exact definition it is a collection of related information collection of related information defined by its creator this is the main important point related information this is a very very important uh, point collection of related information defined by its creator suppose you want to create any file uh, let us assume that uh, I want to create uh, some file. Uh, for example, for example, student information. Suppose I want to create the file name. Student information means in that file I can use the student name, student age, and the student or student uh, student details. All those things uh, uh, I can put here. So by using this student information, I can create one file name uh, called as student information file. So I can create one file name is student information file so here defined by its creator so as uh, uh, since i am a creator so i can use all the details of students so here i can create one file that file name is student information file so next thing is normally organized into directories to make them easier to use see you can create one directory below directory then you can create sub directory that means folder first you can create one folder name see for example same example you can take student information by so student information file is one of the folders then next we, i can create one more folder that means sub folder then in in sub folder itself i can uh, i can store the student information student information file so why we have to use directories so if you use directories then it can easily retrieve the data retrieve the data whatever you want at the at any time at any point of time if you want to retrieve any data uh, then you can easily retrieve your data whatever you want by using directories so if you use directories then it can be very easy easy to retrieve your data whatever you want at any point of time so for example if you take magnetic magnetic disk and optical disk so just for example only i'm taking these two things magnetic disk and optical disk so you can you can store all the files in your storage devices magnetic disk optical disk pen drive all those things you can take any example so here we can store all the information otherwise we can say that we, here we can store all the files here all the files uh, we can store whatever we want magnetic disk and optical disk so you can easily retrieve you can easily retrieve if you store in your organized manner then you can easily retrieve whenever you want so that's why we have to manage file so why we have to manage the file uh, suppose you want to manage the file means what first you must know why we have to manage the file uh, if you increase the data for example, uh, you want to store many data in your uh, hard disk. If you take, uh, for example, if you take hard disk, in your hard disk you have to store, um, suppose if you store many data in your hard disk means, if you want at any particular time any data, uh, let, us, let us consider I want to retrieve stored information file uh, for some time. That time what will happen, so once if you stored in an organized manner in your hard disk or pen drive or anything, once if you stored, once you stored in a organized manner, then it will be very easy to ex extract your data. Otherwise, it will be very easy 
to retrieve your data from your hard disk once if you stored in a organized manner that is a very important thing so these are all the things covered under file management file management concept so if, once if you if you want to retrieve any data uh, once if you want to retrieve any data very speedily so once if you store the data in organized manner once if you store in your organized manner then you can easily retrieve the data whatever you want at any point of time this is the thing here <coughs> So each medium is controlled by a device such as disk drive or tape drive. See, this is a very important point. Each medium is controlled by. Suppose, suppose you take hard disk. The hard disk is controlled by a corresponding uh, disk drive. If you take tape drive, so make any tape or uh, anything if you take, it, it, it is controlled by cor corresponding tape drive. So this is a very important thing. So each and everything controlled by its corresponding drives. If you take hard disk, then it will be controlled by hard disk drive. If you take magnetic tab, then it will be controlled by tap drive. This is the thing. Then properties include access speed, capacity, data transfer rate. See, if you take uh, if you take any file, if you want to retrieve any file, so each and every file has its own properties. See, for example, it may be access speed. So uh, what is the access speed of your uh, retrieval? Then capacity, so how much capacity that file has that one next one is data transfer rate so these three things this for example only i am taking these three things so it has some properties it has some properties for example here i am taking access speed capacity data transfer rate so if you want to retrieve any file that time it has to see the see some properties like access speed so what is the access speed of your particular data then data transfer rate it may be in a kbps kilobits per second what is the particular data transfer rate then what is the capacity of your file it may be 1 mb or 2 mb what is the capacity of your file so all those things it, all those things here we consider next operating system os maps these files on to physical media and access via storage devices. So operating system, what, what does operating system? So all the files has to be copied into your physical media. That means magnetic disk or hard disk, all those things. It has to copy it to your physical media. Then it, it then we can access the, those data via your storage devices. Storage devices may be CD or DVD or pen drive. If you even if you take hard disk, these are also these are also called storage devices. Once it has to copy wherever you wherever you want to copy the data, OS is responsible to take or always to copy all the data to your physical media. From that physical media, we can access the data via your storage devices. Maybe CD or DVD or pen drive, hard disk, all those things. So these are the very important point in your file management. So file management, if you, suppose if you, if, if, you, uh, if you want to take uh, any example, uh, again you take same example, student information file. If you click, if you click on your file, that time it has to show all the properties in your bottom of your screen. If you click your file, then it has to show date modified, date created, then owner information, date created, date modified, owner information, all those things. Then it, it has to show length of the particular file, then capacity of your file, then data transfer rate. So all those things it has to show once if you click your file once if you click your file then bottom of your screen it has to show all those things this is called uh, file management so these are all the things taken care of your operating system so operating system responsibilities so this is the main thing so next thing we are going to see important operating system responsibilities so what are all the responsibilities provided by your operating system particularly in file management so these things we are going to see now so first creating and deleting files this is a simple point only so whenever you want to create any file then you can easily create your file whenever you want to delete a file then you can delete a file this is a simple point whenever you want you can create whenever you want you can delete a particular file so next one is creating and deleting directories so this is also same as file if you want to create any directory then you can easily create a directory if you want to delete any directory then you can easily delete your directory this is a simple point next one is manipulating files and directories this is also a very simple point suppose if you make if you want to make any if you want to make any changes in your files or directories then you can easily change uh, according 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 to your wants so whatever you want to change on files and directories then you can easily make changes on files and directories 
Next one is mapping files onto secondary storage devices. Already I told us, he said already. So OS is your responsible to copy all the data into your secondary storage device. Maybe CD or DVD or hard disk or pen drive, anything. So you can easily uh, easily map it onto all easily map all the data into your secondary storage devices. Next one is packing up files on stable, that means non-volatile storage media. So if you want to pack up any files to your non stable uh, stable sorry stable that means non volatile memory so as i said already non volatile when when your power is off the data will not be erased it will be it will not be erased in your memory that's why it is called a non volatile memory if you want to if you want to pack up any files if you want to pack up any files then you can easily pack up your non volatile memory that is a stable storage media here hard disk maybe a hard disk or cd or dvd or pen drive you can easily pack up files whatever you want so these are all the things provided by your operating system these are all the very important responsibilities provided your operating system particularly in file management so this is a very simple concept uh, here i told a very simple explanation and simple examples if you have any doubt regarding file management then then you comment me so don't forget to subscribe like and share we will meet in next class with other topics if you have any doubt don't forget to comment me and also don't forget to subscribe and subscribe like and share so we will meet in next class with other topic so until that bye